Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve with XBLA Fans, and I'm here with another Trials Tuesday. I know it's Wednesday, but I had some technical issues. Uh, I don't want to get into what all that means. Let's just get right into some of the great tracks that we've got for you today. First up, we've got Sanctuary by Inflictor. Now, this one is just gorgeous. This, to me, is everything about what makes a great Trials track. Beautiful aesthetics and great gameplay to go with it. This one is surely at some point going to be a Red Lynx pick because it's just so smooth. It's a lot of fun to play. You can see that even though it's a medium track, the, uh, the top player here has found ways to make the driving lines even better, more fun uh, for experienced players in here extreme ninja guys that are out there and probably a few girls I guess uh, but I mean this is almost Assassin's Creed-ish I was kind of wanting Ezio to pop out somewhere and, and assassinate the writer this one is I, it's going to be a love-hate for you guys I really like it we have a lot of fun playing it in multiplayer but it's checkmate is I, I I picked it more for the visuals. I love the way it looks. It's got a decent riding line. Not not good for your professional riders, but uh, for really casual people like us who wreck a lot, these kind of stunted drive lines that kind of slow you down on purpose are a lot better. And I don't know if they're actually meant to slow you down on purpose or if it was just that the author didn't think too much about the drive line, but for us, as casual players, these are really great because there's a lot of, there are a lot of catch-up opportunities um, if you're the one in back because of all these stunted drive lines, and that works out really well for Supercross when you're talking casual type gameplay. Up next is our Red Links pick of the week. This is Imminent Servitude. Um, I'm not even going to try to say who that's by because I don't really know. Um, this is a great little track. Again, it kind of has that medieval theme to it. Sort of a coliseum slash fantasy slash... Uh, I don't know what else. There's a lot of climbing that you do in this one. A lot of upward driving. Um, oh, I was excited. The Looney Tunes one that I featured a few weeks ago where the Wily e. Coyote was chasing you ended up being a Red Lynx pick. And I can't think of the name of it right now, but I'm so stoked that, that got to be a... Red Links pick. Not because I feel like I had anything to do with that, but more because it's just a great track and it's good to see it get that kind of attention. Last up, finally, we have Mr. Evo Plus. Now this is straight up an, uh, like an Atari 2600 game. I mean, look at it. It's awesome. So simple. Uh, the, the biker guy has three animations, left, right, and standing still. And it is just a lot of fun. Look at that. Um, you you have a lot that you can do in this game as well. There's a, you'll see later on they pick up a, a, a weapon after defeating a boss. I didn't even record all the gameplay in this particular replay because it's there's so much to do. Now it's not going to be like you can sit there and, and play for hours on end. Well, maybe. I don't know. I didn't get that far, but I doubt you can play for hours on end and in be you know mario brothers kind of length but this is a lot of fun it's really an impressive little game and it just blows me away each week when i find out some of these things that people have built I'm just holy cow how did they do that kind of thing here comes the boss battle with the multi-directional sign hey it's it's that's very akin to the graphics of the time so hey more power to you, buddy, whoever made this. Uh, not whoever. You, you can look in the description. Point being, that feels great to me. I mean, look at it. It's awesome. Even the retro explosion. That's cool. And obviously, now he's got a little pistol. You push the X button to fire it, which is why it said X. And he can go around and pick up a few things here and there. I want to talk a little bit about, you know, the future. I've got a bunch of stuff that I recorded today because of my issues last, or well, yesterday. I'd like to know, would you like to see this or that? We'll talk to you later, guys.